Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. from the dead with a contact with the grave that is the bones of a pathetic figure restored life power this however was simply showing the principle of life from the dead there was no soaking on his grave the idea of soaking on a grave is simply a form of necromancy of communication with the dead it is demonic and it is forbidden. Benny Hinn is doing something demonic when he says he goes to the cemetery, Forest Lawn near Los Angeles, and goes to the grave of Amy Simple McPherson, and that her ghost appears to him at night. This is open necromancy. The late Earl Pork was another practitioner of this kind of necromancy. They do it for contact with the actual dead. They do it on graves. Now, this is, again, a kind of thinking that exists in Shintoism in Japan, where you have ancestral worship, or in Africa, where you have ancestral worship. It is the same demonic, occult superstition that you find in African traditional religions and in the Shintoistic variation of Buddhism in Japan. Uh, but it's not only done by these people in terms of going to cemeteries or graves or something of this nature. They think they can soak in the Holy Spirit by laying on the floor. Jesus said the Father wants to be worshipped in spirit and in truth. I had an ignorant religious kook, a pastor of a group of about 30 people in England, who was into soaking, and he was contacting me because I was in opposition to the false doctrines he was propagating. I said, where is this soaking in scripture? He couldn't show it. He just believed it because it seemed to work for his people. All of these effects and these things that people claim to be experiencing spiritually are essentially, as we've explained in the Golden Calf teaching some years ago during the Toronto counterfeit revival, what these things are is hypnotic induction combined with demonic deception. They are hypnotic induction combined with demonic deception. You fall down on the floor and begin believing you're soaking in the Holy Spirit. You convince yourself this is true. And then a demonic element comes into it with the false teaching. It's spiritual seduction. It's much the same as these people saying, I know I had a demon in me because it came out even though I'm born again and I'm saved. You begin confessing that you have a demon in you as a Christian. That's very, very dangerous. No place was a demon ever cast out of a Christian in the New Testament. Unless somebody backslides and falls away from the Lord, that can't happen. Christians can be demonically oppressed, but not possessed. Again, we've explained before, people are healed of oppression. But the word ekbalo, cast out, is only for possession. You see these wild manifestations. I couldn't control it. I couldn't control it. We're told repeatedly, certainly twice, the fruit of the Spirit is a crete, self-control. The fact that you couldn't control it proves it's not God. It's hypnotic induction combined with demonic deception. Well, so too with this soaking or with this visualization, contemplative prayer. This is essentially New Age, the Bill Johnson stuff. The labyrinths, 
<coughs> it is visualization. Young E. Chow, the swindler in Korea, wrote his book on the fourth dimension where he said he didn't get this teaching on visualization where you picture what you want in your imagination because your imagination is your spirit, which it most certainly is not scripturally, and speak what you want into being by the word faith formula. He said it came from Buddhists and Hindus of no different centuries. Now Jesus Christ has shown it to him. Again, I have no idea if that swindler, and he was a convicted swindler, is a Christian, but I know he's a Buddhist because he said so, if that's what he believes. This visualization thing, <coughs> contemplative prayer, soaking, casting demons out of believers, all of these things are hypnotic induction combined with demonic deception. They have no biblical basis whatsoever. <coughs> None. They cannot give you one scripture in support of it, exegeted in context. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.